Casey in the Hennessy with UCCS Athletics, and I'm here with head softball coach, Coach Ricky. So, Coach, this sees this pod series, you kind of split it. Um, what is your thoughts about the strengths you had during this, and what things do you want to work on for the next one? Well, I mean, we talked last week about the fact that going into the series, I still hadn't thought we'd played our best softball in terms of putting all sides of the ball together at one time. Um, that was some, that was a little bit of a struggle for us on Saturday, and then by Sunday, it seemed like we were finally doing it. We were pitching well. We were hitting well, and we were really competing on all sides of the ball. Um, base running was was strong, and uh, we were able to use people in, in different roles to, to sort of work our way through the lineup and score runs. So, um, you know, I think that that's probably the closest we've had to putting it all together, uh, and it's, it's a good time of year to start doing that and doing it more consistently. Definitely. And then in the game against Color School of Mines on Sunday, it was kind of like a back-and-forth kind of battle thing, even going into extra innings. What is your thoughts about that game, and what strategies did you and your team use to come out with that awesome win? Well, sure. So first, I think we have to, to look at the way that Taylor Reed had pitched. Um, she fought off a, a strong lineup for extra innings and just did such a great job of coming up with manageable outs, striking people out at the right time. Um, and then, you know, our defense played behind her and was help, able to help her get those outs. And then on the offensive side, we just never quit. Uh, we kept getting behind. We were the home team in that game. And so we would tie it up, and then they'd take a lead, and we'd tie it up, and they'd take a lead. And, and so to come down to a walk-off situation in the, I think, bottom of the 10th um, was, was huge for us. And we were using the lineup card in, in ways that we really hadn't up till now, uh, using two pinch hitters a, at times in one spot. And I can't say enough about the, the pinch hit uh, success that, that we got out of people. Um, Sawyer Brewster and, and Shea Bushy were huge in keeping innings going. Um, and then allowing us to re-enter a runner who was a li maybe a little bit faster than them or enter a runner that was a little bit faster than them uh, to keep scoring in those really clutch situations. So I was very proud of the way we competed in that marathon of a game. Uh, I think we were all happy when it was over uh, <laughs> because we were sort of running ourselves out of options on, on how to use the lineup card. And emotionally and mentally, it's just such a long fight to, to get through in a game where it snowed for a while and then it would look like it was going to warm up and then it would snow again. So was just really proud of the fight in our team and for them to come out with a victory was great. Absolutely. And then you had Peyton Romines, who had an outstanding series, especially those last two games. What do you have to say about her and her performance and kind of anybody else that kind of stood out to you? Well, sure. So, you know, I think in Peyton's case, she's been kind of overswinging in, in a number of series. And this week, I just I kind of tried to settle her down and say, look, I don't care about anything except for getting the contact in a strong body position follow through extension, leave it all alone. Doesn't matter. Just get to contact in a strong body position. And then she was able to do that and make contact consistently, get the ball through the middle of the infield. Uh, she ended up hitting the home run that got our scoring started in the second game against uh, Fort Lewis. And that was in a hit and run count. She, she got ahead in the count and I thought, okay, well, if she's going to put the, put the ball in play hard, let's get our runner moving, see if we can't go first to third. And she ended up hitting one of the hardest home runs we've had all year. Um, so I think that was a huge spark for us and, and just such a great thing to see. Um, but there were tons of performances in the offense all the way around. Lexi Anderson came up with another clutch hit this weekend in that first Mines game. Um, she's somebody that we look to to just – she owns a big moment some way, somehow. So I think that's one that you've got you've to look at. But up and down the lineup, we had great performances, people getting on base, um, take adv taking advantage of, of mistakes and, and drawing walks at the right time that we needed to that we needed to, to to get someone to hit one extra base hit and score multiple runs. So it was it was a lot of fun seeing that kind of diversity up and down the lineup of who was producing and, and who was helping contribute to the scoring. Definitely. And then this week you're home going against Colorado Christian. So what is going to be your main focus during practice this week just to prepare for this one? They're a team that their pitchers spread the plate. Um, so we're going to be looking at how wide a plate we can hit with consistently and, and hit hard. Uh, we've seen their pitchers before. So, you know, throughout the years, we've been able to sort of look at the patterns of how they throw and look at their play by plays this year. Um, so that's my biggest goal on the offensive side is making sure that we are aware of how far the ball is on the plate and how much we need to be able to stretch it to be successful against their pitchers because uh, they do have some pretty solid strikeout numbers. So I think plate awareness for us is the, the biggest part and adjusting to the umpire's plate as opposed to the hitter's plate and things like that. Um, we've played well at home. It's really going to come down to 
continuing to do what we were able to do on Sunday and, and get all parts firing on all four cylinders with the hitting, the base running, defense, pitching. So um, that's kind of the focus is making sure that we're playing solid defense the way we, we have been and then working to stretch that plate and get the ball in play. Sounds great. Well, good luck, Coach. We look forward to watching this game. Thank you. And go Mountain Lions.